blessed day to everyone now i will create a, a video tutorial uh, how to create a curtain uh, uh, panel on a dome okay so a curtain panel on a dome so all you need to do first is to identify where will be the center of the dome okay so for example this is the slab this is the highest portion of your structure and if i uh, want to uh, create a circular uh, hole on this one all you need to do is going to level number two make sure that you are select element by face i select this floor and i can edit boundary or i click this one line in order for me to identify only the midpoint and from that midpoint i will select this one as a 3000 uh, mm uh, or three meters radius okay so that is my three meters radius and i'll delete the temporary line so in my 3d view it's just like that i will click ok i will say uh, mm, no okay so that is your hole and i will create a dome here curtain wall uh, a curtain panel dome so if i'm going there i'm going to level two first and i will create a temporary wall instead of a reference plane because i need to uh, or the center hole of that roof okay so i will select a uh, wall okay i'll close this one and make sure that you are uh, exterior face uh, finish okay from here click the end point and make sure that you are making 3000 or 3 meter okay so that will be ending the the center of the dome so next thing you will do you can go now and create the massing massing uh, number one i click and set the reference plane so just pick the plane take this plane okay go to south elevation make sure that you can detect the midpoint okay reference plane okay just click reference plane from uh, center or midpoint maybe i will make this one two meter or two meter okay so that is my two meter and i will create a model create the model i click model and from that from here from here so that is my uh, dome so let me check so, so you can see that this is uh, selected on the midpoint of this wall it's not uh, it's wrong to make it, it on this part so I will delete this one I go to reference plane all you need to do is going to south elevation uh, reference click line switch off the three this now okay. okay so it should be like this uh, making this one even line so this is the reference this is the arc if I click this one I click this one and create a form okay make this one as a dome all right so it's already a dome i click this one i'm not done yet i only want to delete this wall because i'm done with the wall i just get the center point of this hole so i'm going now click again and edit in place so if i click this one i click this one go divide surface so it will be divided i click this one again and instead this one and this one instead of no pattern i will make this one as a rectangular pattern okay so you can adjust the number of u grid and d grid okay 10 m 10 uh, number or you can increase or you can decrease you can read the rotation in the angle that you wish to so now as uh, now i will do the pattern so how to create the pattern just go to create new and family I'm going to another environment so going back up on level up on level family templates 
English. You will see this metric curtain uh, panel pattern base. So click this one and I'm here. So you are in different environment. You are not in the project. Okay, so you create, create the point element. Select the midpoint. Escape. Escape. Select this one. You will see the reference plane. And you can now create a, a frame. So 50 and M. Okay. So by the way, the, the size of uh, this one, the size of the pattern is 3000. 48 so you can make this one 1200 by 1200 or it depends to your design okay okay so you have changed that one now i can change click this one and control the control key to select this both this uh circle and this one the reference line and create a form so it's already created the form how to change the material just select the frame and create new material and then go to appearance library go to metal and this one anodized bronze client okay so you can not see yet the materials because it is not realistic okay and now it is realistic no you can see the materials wireframe i click the wireframe because i want to select the reference plane so i can create this one as a solid form either the plane or the this one with extrusion this one with extrusion you can identify the thickness of the glass or glazing maybe this one is 15 mm okay i apply and i'm going back to realistic i will select this one edit again the material create new material and i will select the glass of course and maybe light bronze okay click right light bronze and okay so it will become light bronze so you can save this one save as family and this is my my pattern my panel save this one and of course i will load to the project that you are doing so load to the project so this is your project going to 3d view so click this one and select the pattern that you already made it's already loaded here my panel click one and click number two so now you can see the realistic view of that so that is your pattern okay the pattern with curtain wall panel okay a dome uh, made of curtain wall panel okay so i hope that this help you a lot helps you a lot in your project and i hope if you like this video just don't forget to subscribe and like this video hope you like it